Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back to the channel. Where are we, Helen? We're at Pine Woods and Wells next to sea. We're keeping it in Norfolk, folks. Enjoy the video. Okay campers, here we are at Spoonbill Drift Touring Park, which is part of Pine Woods here at Wells. And are we two days in, Helen? We're two days in, we've got two left. Two we're days here, in. We're here for four nights. Yeah. Actually. We've paid 46 40 a night, but that is with the awning. I think the awning is £5 a night. But because we came Monday to Friday, we get some discount because it's a midweek break, so you get a little bit of money off for that. Just a bit on the awning, right? Because it's not an awning, it's a sunny canopy. 18.40 we got off. Okay. Yeah. You might just be able to make it out there flapping in the wind because it has been so windy. The, I think it's fair to say, actually, the weather here at Wells has been changeable. Would you describe it as changeable? No, I'd describe it as... <laughs> A hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> I always try and look on the bright side, you see. So, when we arrived, we uh, had a full day yesterday, and it was lovely, wasn't it? As you will have seen from the video. Last night, it rained. Well, actually, I decided last night, uh, I'm going to put the sun canopy up. I didn't put it up when we arrived, so I thought I'll put it up last night while Helen watches Corey. So I put that up, got it all set up, had a ghost ship in underneath the sun canopy, put the side walls on, because it was a bit breezy. Um, but in the night the heavens actually opened didn't they and it rained and rained and rained all night didn't it yeah literally absolutely all rained night. all yeah. night long heavy very heavy rain heavy winds 
Well, they reckon I thought saw somewhere we had two inches of rain overnight. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I saw. Anyway, the winds were supposed to die down today, so we nipped out in the car because you wanted to go to fake them, didn't you? Yeah. And when we got back, well, we had a bit of good news and a bit of bad news awaiting us. Um, shall I start with the bad news? Mm -hmm. The bad news was one of the sides off the sun canopy was flapping around in the air. Yeah. The four metal um, pegs, pins that I'd used to put it down, well, they were just scattered everywhere. So I don't know if they'd hit the caravan or what, but they were everywhere. And it was flapping around like a good one. Our coloured lights, which we always hang outside, which you've probably seen in previous videos, just ripped to shreds and now in the bin just over there. So they're in the bin just over there. Um, and then we had to take the sides down in a gale and it was being pretty difficult. So that's the bad news. Helen, what was the good news? Well, the good news is, um, if you'd like to go and get it, David, my apprentice. <laughs> um, <laughs> the good news is, um, we had a little bag waiting for us when we got back. Now, I don't know who brought this bag, but it's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. What have we got? We've got, it's all in a, a little Adnams bag. And there is not one, but two. Go ship. Oh. So someone knows there Dave is, Blank's go ship. There is a god. There's a second one. Third thing is, it's for me, I hope. Which is some Norfolk fudge. <laughs> <laughs> someone who knows us pretty well, Helen. And I something see. for little Bella. They haven't even left Bella out. And that's some little chews, oh. which she's opened already and had one. <laughs> <laughs> they were faves. Thank you very, very much. Whoever you are. Right. We don't know who left them. Well, there are about uh, sort of three or four subscribers we know are staying on the site. Um, but we don't actually know who left these. It may be that there was a card or something inside, but uh -huh. that bag was on its side, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so the wind had got hold of that as well when the side of the uh, sun canopy had gone up. So whether there was a card or a message, we don't know. So what I'm going to say is if that was you, leave us a comment. Now, every man and his dog is going to say, it was me, <laughs> it was me, I left them, I left them. <laughs> so how will we ever find out? I don't know. We might see them again. We might see them on again. The site, yeah. But uh, if that was you, anyway, what a wonderful thing for that's someone good, to that's do. great, thank you. And you know what? I'm down to my last bottle of ghost ship. I had to go out, I, I would have to go out and get some more, but so not now, not now. And the thing is, Bella, although we rescued her or rehomed her, is very, very picky with her chewies, but she absolutely loves <laughs> these. So that's great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So. Here come Helen and Bella. So we're just going to go for a stroll into Wells today. Just wanted to show you the old blackboard here though at uh, Pinewoods. They've got a store which we're going to walk past anywhere else so I'll show you but it's open every day. It sells local produce, fresh crabs which I fancy for my dinner today, uh, freshly baked bread, toys games, we don't want any of those, ice cream, don't want any of that, um, beach goods, don't want any of that. So crabs it is. You don't want much then. No. <laughs> don't want much at all. Quick Oh yeah, let's have a quick look at this. So Tuesday we've got the Moody Cow turns up with burgers and steaks. Uh, Wednesday, that's today, we've got Moody Cow coming today. Burgers and steaks. Uh, Wednesday, Lola's Pizza, yeah, double Dutch cheesecake and pancakes. Uh, potato patata, loaded jacket potatoes on the spoonbill drift. That's here. Uh, Thursday, uh, the Feast of Burritos. Friday, Norfolk Thai. Uh, Saturday, we'll be gone, but Currylicious. Uh, bubble and melt waffles, truffle Italian street food. And Sunday, it's uh, Randy's Seafood, Yorkie wraps, Yorkshire pudding wraps. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, come on, we'll go wandering, hell. So we're into July. It's a bit breezy, but it's still nonetheless uh, a lovely day. It's nice and warm. And this is our first ever trip here, isn't it, Helen? This is to Wells. Um, no, not to Wells, it's not. You've been coming here all your life. What are you on about? Yeah, Wells with the caravan. Yes. To Pinewoods. Pinewoods, yeah. Um, I used to come here from holidays for years, actually, because my dad was born from Wells. 
Yeah. I've had all these family here. Yeah, you used to visit your granny, didn't you? And your great-grand all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We used to come every year. Yeah. So Helen's dad's a Norfolk man, yeah. married a Scottish woman and met in the RAF in Norwich at RAF Horsham St Indeed. Faith. Yes. That's now Norwich Airport, yeah. of course. And he was an RAF uh, police dog handler. We used to look after all the, the hawker hunters. He used to patrol them at night, make sure no one was uh, getting up to no good. He, he did love it. Been an aeroplane fanatic ever since. So yeah, so Wells is very familiar to us, but yes, as Helen says, we've never been here with our caravan before. So uh, we did, because a lot of our YouTube buddies have been here, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, now my first impression actually from the site walking around is especially this time of year because the grass is quite brown and sort of all the pine trees and stuff I've got a slight feel of being abroad about it I think if you were going away to one of the European camps then I think it's got a bit of a look and feel of that but when you move around this side of course this is where all the static caravans and lodges are on the main part of their site so we'll go have a little look round and make a lavender everywhere for the bees. Yes, got to look after the bees. We're going to make our way into Wells, yeah? Have a walk to Wells? Yeah, we're going to walk it. Okay, let's do it. So just to show you, this is the main reception area. When you arrive at Pine Woods, regardless of what sort of holiday you're on, you need to check into reception over here. Here's the Pine Woods store, which looks pretty good. And there's also a gym here as well. And that's for the owners. That's, uh, Owner's exclusive gym. Slightly underutilized at the moment. <laughs> right, this is the uh, footpath just from reception. Takes you out onto the main drag, the main road into Wells. And then right opposite, on the little embankment there, there's a sloping path, which we're gonna go up. Because this is a quite a busy road. But what we wanna do is uh, show you the Wells harbour and marina well that's me shattered already <laughs> now the tide's in yeah. it's essentially making its way out by the look of it but uh, yeah make a note of how it looks right now because it looks lovely doesn't it but where the tide goes out completely then most of those boats probably will be sat on a mud bank so the sea is over here. You may be able to make out some breaking waves in the distance. So when you go out of this harbour with your boat, you'll have to cross the Wells Bar. And that's yeah, where, are you getting warm already, are you? Yeah, yeah the Wells Bar, that's where it, uh, the waves are breaking naturally on the beach. But there's a, a bar where you can get through, but the waves do still break. So any sailors watching will know sometimes crossing the bar can be quite tricky. Couldn't help but notice that they've uh, named this little boat here after Helen. Leave your daily stresses and strains behind. Take a minute to look out across the harbour towards the horizon under the big North Norfolk sky and contemplate how awesome life is. We hope you relax and enjoy your time here at Wells Harbour. That's good. Something about the water and the attraction of it and the boats for me, particularly the sailing boats. Never owned a sailing boat, but always very interested in the all workings of the whole thing really how to sail I used to go sailing with my brother and a little sailing a javelin i think it was called and this is the town quay and all part of the port of wells and over the years we've seen this develop because uh, certainly when i first met helen about 1979 when i first came here none of this was not quite like this it's it's not been developed massively but the changes have all been very positive. So this little marina is quite new. Floating pontoons, makes it a lot easier to bring your boat in. 
and doesn't everywhere look so much better when the sun just shows its face. Got a few clouds about, but still very nice. And one of the popular pastimes there at Wells is crabbing, dropping the lines over the side and catching crabs. I'm going to catch a dress one later. So it's our first full day. We arrived yesterday and uh, rather windy, wasn't it? It was windy, yeah. And <laughs> uh, it got very black at one point. <laughs> it was gale force. Um, and of course, one of us made a major mistake when we got here. And it wasn't me. <laughs> so we've gone full service. We're, we're staying at three sites over the next few days. And uh, well, a couple of weeks really. And we've gone full service. So we thought that'd be a good idea. We don't need to bring the aqua roll. Don't need to bring the waste master. So we'll just plumb in as it were. And what Only did- when we got there, there was nothing to plumb in. Why was that Helen? Because you left it at home. Yes. And it's an hour and a half drive each way, <laughs> so we had to go home and do a round trip. So my brand new, um, I'll tell you what, um, Rob's wise ways will probably be laughing at this if he's watching, I know he will be. So my fairly new, I say brand new, but fairly new full service hose, which I was reluctant, a bit nervous about, but bought one and I've loved it, it's been brilliant. Yeah, we got here, left it at home. So I had the one hour 30 minute drive back to the house to go and get it because i wasn't buying another new one they're 80 quid a piece um although i probably did 80 quid in petrol to be fair uh yeah i went home and got that that was so i spent four and a half hours constant driving yesterday while helen had her feet up looking at the ipad yeah i had a lovely afternoon. right we're just uh getting into town now look at the lovely flowers here yeah, nice, Beautiful, aren't they, Helen? Mm. Where are we going? We're going to go to the Edinburgh pub. See if it's open and see if we can take Bell in. Okay. Used to go there with mum and dad. Yeah, the Edinburgh because uh, Helen's mum's from Edinburgh and you were born up there, weren't you, Winchborough? Well, 12 miles outside. Yeah. So every time you used to come here on your holes, you had to call it the Edinburgh, am I right? Yeah. So we're going to keep it in the tradition. See if we can get a pint in the Edinburgh. Now, and uh, is it is it just as you remember it, or is it hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, it's just been such a long time. I, I think remember. these were two separate rooms, you know. Yeah. I think we had two separate. It's very entrances. long now, isn't it? Yeah, it is very long. Yeah. yeah. But uh, on a scale of one to ten, I'm going to give it purely the fact there's no ghost ship. <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> I'm giving, it a, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 because there's no ghost ship, but it is alright, it's good. And it's Green King IPA, so you well, can't you really beat it. Can't, oh. you? Yeah, so we'll get that off. We'll catch you when we get on the high street in a minute. Helen's on the, what you got there, huh? Shiraz. Got Shiraz, we're not driving, are we? We haven't got the car. 11 o'clock in the morning and we're on the lash. Oh, What's going on? Don't say that. Yeah. Big and small paws are welcome through our doors. That's good, isn't so it? So this is where we had our lunch today, wasn't it? Right. So here's lunch, just after 12. We've had two pints and now we're on food. What are you going to have, Hel? I'm not sure yet. I don't really eat seafood. Are you going to share this um, platter with me? I'll try some. There's some nice raw salmon there, which you like. I'll have that, yeah. You can eat those prawns, can't you? I'll peel those for you. Oh, no. You no. can. No, no, no. Cockles, alive, alive-o. Well, I tried them before and they just tasted of vinegar and sand. <laughs> vinegar and sand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> muscles? Oh, I don't know, they're a bit big. A girl once said to me, I like the look of your muscles. I said, you should see my cockles. <laughs> and then a prawn cocktail, about that. Do you like prawn cocktail? No, you can have that. Right, so what part of this meal for two are you going to have then? I'm going to have salmon and a little bit of bread, that'll do. <laughs> God. Yeah, the globe. The globe in. Now you know who runs the globe in, don't you? Yeah, you say the same people that own the ship at Dunwich. Yes, they've got and, a ship uh, at Dunwich, yeah. We've gone back to Dunwich in October, actually. I just can't remember their name now. Now I've just said that, I can't remember the name of the company that own them. But yeah, they've got a number of nice pubs throughout sort of Norfolk and Suffolk. Mm. And we had a lovely lunch in there, didn't we? Right, what's this part of Wells called, Helen? This is called the Butlins. The Butlins? The yeah, Butlins. And look at this, look at that. I don't know if that's a house on its own or just a little part of this house. It's like part of that one. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? 
Look at the two dogs, aren't they nice? Yeah, they're the guard dog. Mm. It's called Abbey House. Yeah. And very nice it is too. So there's like a nice big sort of a square it's avenue green. green isn't it? A green, yeah. 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 And uh, another great pub here, the Crown, we're just coming up to. We've eaten in the Crown before. No, we haven't. We've had a drink in the Crown before. Haven't no, we? we have eaten in the Crown. We had dinner in there and it was lovely, wasn't it? So we'll save the Crown for another day, but we'll come out of a, maybe have lunch in the Crown one day as well. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Lovely Look at these. Beans. Yeah. But very beautiful, very nice. And if you're having a bit of a stressful time of it or whatever, do what that guy's doing over there on the green. <laughs> just, <laughs> what <is he> <laughs> just, get a, just get a blanket in the middle of the green and lay on it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's strange. When we got. Another observation. There are lots of expensive cars about. There's another lovely house. It's Clarence House. Clarence House, yeah. Beautiful. Right, we'll see you when we get to Stave Street. Right, so here we go. This is Stave Street in Wells. The most famous street in the town, this isn't it, Helen? And I remember walking down here with your Gran Lovick all those years ago and uh, she'd go in every single shop. Come on, miss. I don't know. She'd go in every single shop. It'd be a regular little trip because there used to be some old fashioned traditional fruit and veg stores down here and general stores and butchers and fishmongers and stuff. And she would come and do all the shopping down here. So I think these are nice, lovely, aren't they? Well, these uh, wind things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we did have one in the garden, didn't we? But. Um, we'll have a look and see how much it's oil, 130 pounds. Well, that's about what I'd expect them to be, really. Yeah, so it's always been the busiest street in town, hasn't it? Yeah. And obviously, it leads down to the, uh, the quayside. Lots of coffee shops, lots of restaurants, gift shops. A great deli over here, Alexandra Howell's Deli. That was a very good deli. I don't know if it's this shop. There's one shop down here you go in. It's like Doctor Who's TARDIS. It goes on forever. And you can buy anything you can think of, practically. You could buy it in there. God, do people still use um, road atlases? Reduced to four pounds. That's because no one uses them. Ah, a familiar picture of Wells. I did just see a beach hut for sale in the um, estate agents there. 80,000 quid for a beach hut at Wells. Quite a lot of money, eighty thousand pounds it for a shed. <laughs> this is what I mean about the old traditional fruit and veggers, like f fruiterers or whatever they called them. What are you looking at, Helm? Do you want a cowhide, Dave? A cowhide? What do I want a cowhide for? I'm not sure why anybody would want. Probably a carpet, is it? It's not the sort of thing you'd expect to buy from a butcher's, is it? No. <laughs> Nice selection of meat in there though, but it's meat night tonight on the um, campsite. 
Will we or won't we? We'll see. Mrs. B's tea room. If I had four drinks and lunch already, I probably would have gone in. Oh, look, that's a great thing. Board husbands. Yeah, you can sit there while you go and do shopping. What about board wine? <laughs> Where do we sit? You don't sit. You haven't got time to get bored. You're a wife. You have to be busy. Straight, that's a bakery. We'll go straight past that, Helm. There's a danger you might get cake and fudge or something. <laughs> Hey Helen, have you seen over there by the quay? Look at them boats over there. Yeah, see them? Right, move on. Let's move on quickly. Over to the boats. Don't let Helen see the fudge shop. It could be very dangerous. You get your shirt on because I'm filming. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'll get you going. Oh, we're not going yet. I, I was going to say, oh, you're not? Not quite. Oh, I, need, I need another hour and a half yet. Oh. See, you come on the holidays. Like, the people you meet, it's unreal. What are you everywhere. doing here? For goodness sake. Where's you coming to Pinewoods? You know we're going to be here. Oh, no. <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, we're anyway, great. We're great. Yeah. We're just going to come over and sing happy birthday to you. Oh, are you now? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. where's the guitar? I know. I did think about bringing that when I knew you were coming. <laughs> happy yes. birthday. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, it's her birthday. <laughs> happy Thank birthday. You. Helen's got you a little something. Oh. Something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's no question we're going to catch the sunset. Look at that, beautiful over the fields there. It's whether we can get to the beach in time before it's gone. We were just having a little chat with a couple of our subscribers that are on the site. So they're from Bath. Now I've got to remember the names now, Hell. We were chatting for ages, now I forgot the name. First question I asked was, what's your names? And now I forgot, so I do apologise. They're here in their motorhome anyway, and they watch the channel. And they'll know I'm talking about them, because I said we we're going to go and catch the sunset. So. Lovely to catch up with you. Look at that, folks. Well, that is what we came for. And somewhere behind those is Helen. You there, Hel? I don't know where she is. <laughs> Beach is beautiful this evening. Water's very still here. That looks like an old lifeboat there. It's not the, I uh, don't think it's the current lifeboat. It looks a bit too old. I know they keep uh, an old lifeboat here. And just out there coming in, looks like a fishing boat. So he's following the, uh, the boys into the harbor. If you look at him coming here, he's gonna go and cross the bar, which is not too bad tonight. I think he's probably crossed it already to be fair. Right, well that's our stay here at Wales, over. Been good, isn't it? It's been really good. I don't know if it's because I've got family ties here or what, and I know the place, but really like this one. Did yeah, you? I have, really enjoyed it. You I, never I, used to like it at one time at Wales, did you? No, I think I've already mentioned this in the video. I never used to like Wales. I thought it was a bit too old fashioned, a bit sleepy, but it's changed these days. Maybe oh. it's because we've got older. <laughs> I oh, you have? Yeah, I reckon that's what it is. So anyway, I'm going to pack up and get on our road, but we're not going home, are we? No, we're going to go to Kelling Heath now. Um, but Kelling Heath is near Cromer, so we're keeping it local. And there's a bee buzzing around yes, the camera. there is, isn't there? <laughs> Cheeky bee. Okay. They've left a lot of plants out here for them, haven't they? Yeah, they'll do, yeah. So, like we always say, if you have been, thanks for watching. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, smash it now, give it large. We'd appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it really helps the channel to grow. That bee's buzzing all around the microphone. Look, I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to leave a comment. We love those. And smash the notification bell as well because then you'll know when all the videos are coming out. So, we're off to Kelling Heath and we'll see you from there. See you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.